public health researchers in Kenya and computer scientists from the University of California are developing an AI tool which predicts where people, particularly children, are at risk of malnutrition. The computer model has been fed a decade's worth of crop, weather and health data to create an algorithm which can alert communities of potential food shortages. Here's a report from Kitui, Kenya. Esther Mulu and her large family are no strangers to food shortage from crop failures. The 69-year-old, her seven children and 25 grandchildren all rely on her small farm in Kitui County for food. According to the African Medical and Research Foundation, it's one of six counties which experience frequently poor rainfall. Mulu says she has no other source of income. In the past, she has relied on food donations, but these are hardly regular and she can't depend on them entirely. Now, I don't know whether we will trim our stomachs because we don't have any more food provisions. Now, we will be taking porridge in the morning and waiting for a big meal in the evening or the following day. Researchers from the University of California with support from Microsoft are developing an AI tool which aims to help communities prepare for crop failures and prevent cases of malnutrition. Researchers have collected detailed weather patterns and NASA satellite imagery showing vegetation and clinical health records from the past 10 years to create computational models which can predict areas of food insecurity. According to Amri, this tool has been tested in Kenya since February last year and results show its predictions are accurate over three to six months. All the figures for this aren't yet available. We have looked at historical data for the last 10 years from uh, different data sources and helped that to be able to define the number of cases all the way up to the sub-county level. Simply uh, to help allocation of resources ahead of time so that we can intervene for children under the age of five to get the nutrition that they need, especially at our health facilities. Amrif hopes that by alerting communities, they can better prepare for food shortages. The focus has been on six northern and eastern counties which are prone to drought, but now it says its model covers the country as a whole. If you can do research and invent a technology to end hunger, I will personally be very happy. I will forever be thankful because you have discovered what will end the hunger that is killing people and their livestock. The 2023 drought in the Horn of Africa seriously impacted Kenya. According to UN's World Food Program, 4.4 million people are affected by acute food insecurity and approximately 1.1 million women and children facing acute malnutrition. In the future, the African Medical and Research Foundation hopes to feed in information gathered at a community level, which it hopes will be more accurate. Africa Bureau, Beyond World is One.